Hey everyone, today I want to give you a free preview of my brand new MSAT Math Mastery video series, which is on a huge 50% discount right now. I've put the link in the description below, so make sure to check it out. Here's a couple of proportion problems from one of those videos, and I'll tell you a little bit more at the end. So stick around. Here's the first question. On a given planet, the weight of an object varies directly with the mass of the object. Suppose that an object whose mass is 4 kilograms weighs 20 newtons. What is the weight of an object whose mass is 10 kilogram? So the simplest way to do this would be to set up a proportion like this. I'm going to put the masses on top, for example, something that's 4 kilograms weighs 20 newtons. So I'm putting the masses on top and the weights on the bottom. Now they're asking me what is the weight, so I don't know this, this weight, we'll call it x newtons of an uh, object whose mass is 10 kg, so I'll put 10 kg up here. Now, whenever you have a fraction or a proportion equal to another, the easiest way to solve them is to have them all on one line. So we don't want this x in the denominator, and here's what you do. You use this technique called cross multiplication. So that means I'll multiply 20 by 10, and that's going to be equal to 4 times x. Okay, so here we go. The orange guys is 20 times 10. And that's going to be equal to the green guys, 4 times x. Now this is much easier for me to solve. 20 times 10 is 200 for x. And if I want to get x all alone, I divide by 4 on both sides to undo this multiplication, which gives me the answer of x equal to 50 newton. And that's your answer. Let me give you guys also the, the general, when it's small numbers like this, it's good to set up these little proportions, these little fractions, and we could do cross multiplication. It works really, really well. But just in case you want to know the general format for anything that's directly proportional, see how it says varies directly? The general format is y equals k times x where k is the coefficient of, of proportionality. It means there's a number where I just multiply, for example, the masses, and I'll always get the weight. So why don't we try this? We'll say y is the weight of an object, where x is the mass of an object. Now they've given me one pair, right? They said when the mass is 4, so k times 4, the weight will be 20. So I can figure out this coefficient of proportionality here by dividing both sides by 4. And what that gives me is that k is equal to 5, which means that the weight is always 5 times the mass. So now that I have this nice equation, any mass they give me or any weight they give me, I can find the other. It's very simple algebra at this point. For example, they say, what is the weight of an object whose mass is 10 kilograms? Well, I'll say the weight of an object whose mass is 10 kilograms is 50 newtons. So that's how you find the relationship between two directly proportional uh, variables like weight and mass. Uh, so either way is okay, and uh, you choose whatever you like. As you guys know, I'm very, very flexible. Uh, I like math because it has many ways to solve the same thing. Uh, and there you go. Safa is riding her bicycle at a speed of 7.5 kilometers per hour. How many kilometers does she ride in three hours? So this is a proportion question, but we can solve it in two ways with using the speed equation or we can do the proportion. So let's try the proportion first. It says she's riding at a speed of 7.5 kilometers per hour. So if it's 7.5 kilometers in one hour, and the question is saying how many kilometers, so we'll call it x, will she ride in three hours? And now you can see that this is a proportion, right? So if she rides 7.5 kilometers in one hour, then she's going to ride three times as long when she does three hours. If you want to solve this proportion, all I have to do is get x alone. It's being divided by three, so I'll multiply both sides by three. This one will undo this one, and I'm going to be left with 7.5 times 3 over 1 is equal to x. And 7.5 times 3 over 1, that means that x is going to be equal to 22.5 kilometers. Now the other way we could have done it is just to think about the speed equation. So I'll give you that right now. Speed 
is calculated as a distance over time and when i say over time that's the same as divided by time okay when you say kilometer per hour that's why it's per hour it's kilometer divided by hour distance divided by time so right now they've given me the speed they said it's 7.5 kilometers per hour and i don't know the distance and they've told me that she's going to be riding for three hours so if i have the speed which is 7.5 kilometers per hour and I have the time, which is three hours. So this one I have, and this one I have. I'm only looking for distance. So it ends up being the exact same equation, of course. If you're looking for x, you just multiply both sides by three. And that will give you that x is equal to 22.5 kilometers. So you can think of it either way. They're, they're the exact same thing. You can think of it as a proportion, right? 7.5 in one hour. How much in three hours? Or you can use the speed distance time equation, which is basically the same. And you multiply by 3 to get rid of your denominator to get x is 22.5 kilometers.